The Airbus A321XLR was designed to push boundaries, offering longer range than its standard A321 family while keeping similar seating capacity. In theory, it provides economics far more favorable than a wide body when flying long haul with a comparable passenger load. It's positioned perfectly for long and thin routes, those lacking the demand to fill a smaller wide body but profitable with a narrow body that burns less fuel per seat. That flexibility makes the XLR attractive to airlines, especially in today's fiercely competitive aviation market. Its most publicized strength is the ability to fly non-stop transatlantic, opening up smaller city pairs across North America, Europe, and even parts of North Africa. Routes once handled by aging middle market jets like the 757 and 767. But there are growing concerns about whether Airbus oversold the jet's capability. Officially advertised at 4,700 nautical miles, airlines like Iberia report their standard 182-seat layout only delivers around 3,920 nautical miles, a significant shortfall that calls its long-haul potential into question. Geography, wind conditions, and the balance between premium and leisure traffic all play a role. But this range gap challenges the aircraft's appeal. Cargo capacity is another weak spot. Beyond the usual luggage limits, the XLR struggles to accommodate additional freight, reducing revenue opportunities on routes where cargo is a key profit driver. As Brussels Airlines' CEO explained, this was one of the reasons they passed on the type. Essentially, the XLR forces airlines to bet entirely on filling passenger seats. There are further complications. Cabin configuration limits deployment flexibility. A low-cost carrier like Wizz Air with its all-economy setup can shift the XLR across routes easily. Full-service airlines, though, often want lie-flat business class seats on long flights, making the jet inefficient for redeployment on short-haul sectors. Add to this the controversial integrated rear fuel tank, which has faced regulatory scrutiny due to fire safety concerns, and the XLR begins to look less revolutionary and more like a specialized compromise.